You're very welcome back to the show. Now, more than 800 items owned by movie star Doris Day will go under the hammer in Hollywood later this spring. Some of those pieces are currently on display at the Newbridge Museum of Style Icons in Kildare. We're delighted to have Martin Nolan back with us from Julian's Auctions in LA. And he's brought some of Doris Day's personal items and some beautiful pieces, including shoes and jewels. And we'll see them in a minute. Exactly. Great to have you with us, Martin. Pleasure to be back. And this is one of my favourites, Doris Day. You think of Doris, you just smile automatically. You think of Calamity Jane and, you know... Wholesome, the, loving, yeah. amazing lady and a fantastic producer of music as well. Over 650 um, songs that she right. released. She Incredible. only died, it's amazing, at the age of, was it 97 last May? Yes, yeah, so in the past year she passed away, sadly, yeah. yeah. And um, so the auction is going to take place in, in Beverly Hills, uh, April 4th and 5th, right. and we're having a whole week of celebrations. For her birthday, of course. Exactly, well. celebrate yeah. her life because, you know, she when she passed away, she didn't want any memorial service. She has no grave marker. She just wanted to, like, fade away. Amazing. And so this is an opportunity for the fans to come and celebrate her life. And, of course, now the items are at the Museum of Style Icons in yeah. Newbridge. Until February. February 3rd. Right. So this is fantastic. Let's start with this. Is this a Valentino? Tell us about this piece. You know it's a Valentino. Yeah. Yes, of course. Ivory silk. Just amazing. And she wore this 1989 Beverly Hilton Hotel, the Golden Globe Award. Awards. She was presented with the Cecil B. DeMille Awards, which is the most prestigious award among the Golden Globes, yes. and presented to her uh, the same night she was there with Clint Eastwood, who won uh, the Academy Award for Bird. He produced and directed that movie. They were good friends, lived in Carmel, they there were neighbours, the and that's an amazing outfit. 1989, that's only 30 years ago, and look, yeah. it's still in fantastic it's condition. It's pristine. Obviously, just, she just beautiful. wore this one. I wonder how much something like this would go for in an auction, or would you have any indications? So we estimated four to six thousand more that's conservative mm. auction estimate should sell so much higher because it's so identifiable yeah. and such an important time in our life remember when marlon monroe's uh, honorary golden globe award we sold that a world record for two hundred and fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. so yeah. anything around award ceremonies is just really deep. collectible did you sell kim or michael jackson's jacket to kim kardashian didn't she tweet about that she did exactly wow. for christmas sixty-five thousand. Yeah. a jacket made by tompkins and bush worn by michael jackson yeah. to Elizabeth Taylor's 65th birthday party and he also worked at the Cannes Film Festival yeah. and to have Kim Kardashian tweet about it she gifted it to her six-year-old daughter God. as it's you a, do that's a sin <laughs> that's a sin to six-year-old kids of course Doris Day was a huge fan of animals and get animal rights and the whole lot and I think this is almost like a nod to that tell us about this piece I think it's a very yeah, simple this is a beautiful piece. silk blouse by Wirt with all different animals dogs on, on the blouse she yeah. wore this in the 80s she loved animals and, you know I spent time in her home, which yes. is just amazing. We actually have shots of her home. <laughs> and, and it's incredible. Are, she yeah. loved her dogs and all of the proceeds more of this auction will go to benefit her animal foundation. She has four golden globes in the auction. Of course, Pillow Talk was one of her famous movies with Rock Hudson. But her home is a tribute to animals. Everything in the home is about animals. There's a beautiful planter there with elephants on it, gifted to her by Rock Hudson, who was wow. a dear friend. There's a beautiful red piano that her son Terry gave her. Uh, this is a fantastic auction. All the proceeds from the auction will go to benefit the yeah. Doris Day Animal Foundation. Is it true that she had a private kitchen for her animals, for her dogs, and the fridges and all that kind of stuff Absolutely. in the house? Absolutely. The house, 11 acres, had their own dog run, My and goodness. they ended up in their own kitchen, fridge, stove, utensils, everything the for the lot. dogs. She just loves dogs, yeah. loves Why animals. She? Why wouldn't she? Now we're moving on to the next piece here. This is Irene. Yeah, this is a Chinese house coat and is designed by Irene. Now, Irene was a very important designer uh, in Hollywood. In fact, she designed the outfits for Midnight Lace with Doris Day. She won a Golden Glo uh, She won an Academy Award, in fact, right. for th for her designs for the Midnight Lace. And so yeah. this is a really beautiful piece. Uh, again, that Doris Day wore with the frogs on it, and what, just a really what, beautiful. What year would she have worn this? That was probably in the 60s, early yeah. 70s. You can see that, that that Chinese kind of house coats were just really kind of uh, very in vogue at the time. We're actually looking at some footage. Absolutely. She's in Irene here as well, another outfit by exactly. Irene. Exactly, and that's at, uh, the premiere for the movie Midnight Lace. That's of course, right. And of course Irene won the, uh, the, Golden, the Academy Award for that. Yeah. We forget that Doris Day as well, as you mentioned there, uh, Martin was a, a wonderful singer. And she was actually in the 40s the highest paid female singer in the world. Yes, she was. Do you think a sentimental journey 
was yeah. one of her, her great oh, songs was, at the time. It was the Oscar winning one, was it? Exactly. And yeah. Rock Hudson, before he ever met her, and they became best yeah. friends, but he used to love to listen to Sentinel Michael Journey, and then he was so happy to work with her. And, you know, as you see her there with Rock Hudson, they were such dear friends. Pillow Talk, of course, one of the famous movies they worked on together. And, of course, when he, you know, d passed away of AIDS soon before yeah. he died, you know, at that time in the 80s, it was such a stigma. She really, bef you know, befriended him and got him to speak about it and had him on her Doris Day show, which was a TV show. That's right. So she had it all going on, didn't she? She was amazing. Mm, just woman. amazing. A prolific worker. I mean, in the 60s, she produced so many movies. Married four times, yeah. of course. Her played her. Yeah. <laughs> Respect. She died single, though, didn't she, in the end? She died yeah. single. Well, she was 97. She probably outlived them all. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the pieces here. you got a pair of shoes. Actually, I have to touch these. Worn, worn, worn by her. Yes. Ferragamo. Ferragamo yeah. shoes. Again, a very favourite uh, designer for mm. all of the Hollywood stars. That's a great photograph of her there. We're selling this over wearing that Valentino outfit. Mm. This beautiful 14 karat gold charm oh, bracelet with all these little charms on it. And there's a, there's one there from Marty and Terry, which of course Marty Melcher was her husband and Terry her son. And um, yeah, so that's that's just a beautiful beauty. You see the little poodles here. Oh, look, yeah, isn't it's that all, fabulous? You know, you just know looking at that that this is somebody who clearly was Loved in love animals. with animals yeah. and just really. What do we have here? And the this award goes to, the Golden Globe goes to Maura. Yes, this is 1962, a favourite actress award. Just a beautiful, beautiful, fantastic award. Again, we sold Marlins for 250,000. This we estimate four to 6,000. We have four of them from That's Doris Day. conservative, isn't conservative, it? Conservative, exactly. But then, you know, the bidding public will determine the true value. But it just speaks to how successful she was. She was America's favourite actress in 1962 and one of the highest earners, Maura. I mean, she was... Just, you know, well, when women didn't make a lot of money, she, she had broken that glass ceiling many, many times, to be she honest. She did. And you know, Maura, she, for the 60s, she did a movie almost every year. Uh, her husband, Marty Melcher, was her manager. Yeah. He died suddenly in 68, and she found out that she was penniless. He had left her bankrupt. And luckily, her son was at an age, a famous producer at the time, to help her and pay her bills. And then she went back and did her TV show and got back on her feet again and became, you know, economically viable. And she died quite wealthy, in fact. It's amazing when you think about it really that she was left penniless not by any fault of her own. I didn't realise this, that somebody else was in charge of her finances totally. It's and amazing. she just you know left it to someone it. else to make yeah. those decisions, yeah. so that's the lesson for us all there. This is this is it's really right. beautiful. Simple Again, piece. Simple piece, but she wore this to the Golden Globes when she got her Cecil B. DeMille Award wow. with the Valentino outfit, so matches her Valentino yeah. outfit here. So that's a really s simple piece. Yeah. And people love handbags. Gloves. Look at the ti tiny little hands. <laughs> and so these are just here for... Oh, these are yours. Why exactly. I was, work. I was like, here I am touching everything and I'm supposed to be wearing these things. I'm like, sorry, there's nothing to do with it. Okay, ignore. Mark, that's so funny. Tell me about the belt here. And again, finally. the sterling belts. Again, all different breeds of dogs on this. And just a beautiful piece. Again, it's a belt, but just speaks to, again, yeah. this lady loved animals and that's really is reflected. Right. And all these items, of course, are in Newbridge, Mora, until yeah. February 3rd. You can go only European destination. That's the only European destination exactly. is, of course, in Newbridge until February and then they go off to LA 800 item up up for grabs and you know what to be honest about things anyone can bid in Julian's that's the reality we talked about this the last time when you had great pieces from Elizabeth Taylor that anyone can bid and, and really if you can think about like three four thousand people can have a little bit of Doris Day exactly and the items even in the hundreds so like there is affordable items something yeah. for everyone for the fans will be able to afford this is going to be a really uh, popular auction in fact the Kellogg orders have been far surpassed any of the auctions we've done. She is loved all over the world. She has really important, very dedicated fans here in Ireland that will email me and tell me this and that and give me little tidbits well, about I mean, Doris. If you can get something, as you said, in the hundreds are indeed, if you look at, I mean, a Golden Globe for a four or five grand, it'll probably surpass that massively, though. You've got four of those, is it? Four of those, but Brilliant. a fantastic conversation Lovely. piece. Oh, absolutely. Dinner, <laughs> perfect dinner table conversation. Absolutely. Martin, thank you so much for bringing Pleasure. a pieces of Doris Day to us today. Of course, the exhibition, as we said, it is at the Museum of Style Alkins at Newbridge Silverware in Newbridge County, Kildare there until the 3rd of February. Bye. Martin, I may be able to get my hands on a few pieces of clothing belonging to an Irish star. Now, unlike Doris Day, she's only married once, right? Kind of so a far. <laughs> a kind of a calamity, Jane. Any Oakley, any get your gun type person. Do you think you'd be able to auction them for oh, me? That's so are, you talking, are we talking about Saoirse Ronan? 
<laughs> yes, definitely. Way, way more, fa way more famous than Saoirse Ronan. Oh, you trickster! You trickster! There would be a time, maybe. Yeah. <laughs>